Hello everyone, this is attorney Ayhan Agman and today I'm in front of you to share one of the latest news we have. Uh, and as of today, the United States new president has started his job. Uh, Joe Biden as 46th president of the United States has actually uh, sworn in today and and started his first day on the job and he started pretty busy he signed 17 executive orders as of today so because of that it's an exciting day and it's a very busy day actually for president uh, biden and we would like to discuss with you what are those executive orders generally about and especially uh, what are the ones uh, will be affecting the immigrants and, and immigration related field and i'm going to start with the generally what the executive orders are about and then i'll discuss with you the details about the executive orders relating to immigration uh, but the generally the executive orders were about prevention and of course fight against COVID-19 uh, and also it was about um, you know rejoining to the Paris uh, climate agreement that previous President Trump had uh, withdrawn and also it was about the economy and try to help the families during this uh, tough times and also the latest one the important one uh, the executive orders that he signed were actually about immigration. Uh, when we look at in executive orders about immigration, you can easily see that it was initially started by canceling the executive orders that was issued by previous President Trump. Because of that, uh, we can just start with the important ones. Uh, but I know that we've been getting questions, of course, from our followers that they wanted to know about on the first day of the job whether President Biden has done anything regarding the 11 million uh, undocumented immigrants in the U.S. Uh, but as you know, that's actually, it's going to be done towards the reform. It needs to be done to the Congress, and it cannot be done or be permanent if it's done by the executive orders. So as of today, we just see uh, the President Biden had signed actual executive orders, and we're expecting him to actually uh, you work with the Congress very soon with respect to immigration reform. Uh, especially to help that 11 million undocumented immigrants in the U.S. But once we look at the executive orders that he signed today about immigration-related uh, areas, we can see the, the first one, the important one, was about President Biden had signed actually executive order to cancel the so-called Muslim ban, which was implemented by President Trump and during his beginning of his term, and which was in the beginning of 2017, where he signed that, uh, you know, executive order to ban certain foreigners that they were going to come, immigrants that were going to come from uh, Muslim countries to the U.S. President Biden actually canceled that ban and now, and also directed with the executive order uh, for the U.S. consulates to try to work on for the people who were not able to come to the United States due to that ban to be able to come and join their families. And the other important executive order uh, the President Biden actually signed today was uh, it was about actually DACA. So basically uh, the President Biden uh, had signed the executive order re to restore the DACA rights uh, to kids um, who are eligible to get it. And as you know the President Obama was the one actually created the DACA and it helped around 700,000 kids to be able to stay in the US and finish their education and work actually to be able to get jobs. And President Trump actually wanted to take that right away from those 700,000 kids. And uh, because of that, there were also legal fights were going on. Uh, but basically, uh, President Biden had signed the executive order restoring those rights to DACA and also directing the Congress to work on a path to citizenship for those DACA kids. And another important executive order uh, President Biden has signed today was about actually canceling the construction of the uh, border wall. Uh, as you know, the President Trump actually had created a national emergency in order to use funds for, for building uh, those walls. Uh, basically, President Biden had stopped that. He doesn't want the construction of those walls to continue and basically stop all the uh, contracts are in place. Um, and because of that, actually, President Biden emphasized the importance of other ways of uh, protecting the borders rather than actually building the wall. And another important uh, executive order that President Biden has signed was, it was for, uh, with respect to deportations. Basically, President Biden is, uh, you know, by signing the executive order today, uh, he has actually revoked one of the uh, Trump's uh, first executive orders, we can say, which was about actually making 11 million undocumented immigrants to be removed, deported from the United States. And basically, President Biden, had, uh, by signing the executive order today, 
basically cancel that and and it's actually emphasizing that it's important that we should prioritize the deportation process and we should just uh, make sure that the people who are danger to community and who are danger to national security should be the ones actually deported from the United States. With that, it's a big change towards the deportation and especially comparing under the Trump administrations, they were going under any person, even even if they were just out of status and they were just, you know, in the U.S. without a status. Basically, uh, President Biden, by revoking that uh, executive order and uh, by, you know, reprioritizing the importance of that, making sure criminals are the ones actually should be deported first. Those are the important executive orders we can say that President Biden had signed. President Biden had signed one more actually executive order today and which was uh, affecting uh, immigrants and especially the ones that who doesn't have a status in the US. Uh, basically President uh, Biden by signing an executive order today he reversed the Trump plan to exclude uh, people who are in the country illegally to be counted towards the census. So uh, basically, President Biden mentioned that people, all people living in the U.S. should be counted towards the census, whether they have a status or not. These are the important uh, executive orders were signed today. But I could also say that uh, with respect to undocumented 11 million uh, people, immigrants living in the U.S., as you know, that, uh, you know, to resolving their rights or for them to be able to get a path to citizenship, uh, it cannot be done or shouldn't be, shouldn't be done towards the executive orders. And this is why we're expecting President Biden soon to submit uh, uh, the reform for those 11 uh, million undocumented immigrants in the U.S. Uh, to be able to get the citizenship in the U.S. that, that they deserve. I hope that uh, this latest news that we share with you will help you. For any more details, we'll be sharing with you. And have a great day. Talk to you soon.